Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. I kind of been in my I did film something last week and I didn't like it. Didn't like it. And I really want to get better at editing and all that good stuff. So yeah, I just took a little MIA break and back in action. So I hope you guys love this. Today I'm gonna to be filming this look right here. I want to do something a little more pink and bright, you know, even though it is January. Spring's coming up soon, and I just absolutely love this. It's kind of inspired by my new shirt or outfit from Fashion Nova, and then my nails, and I don't know. I love it. So, yeah, I hope you guys love it. It's also my first time wearing the Huda Beauty um, lashes, and I did, I have them in the color, or the color, the uh, style Samantha, and I also have a, another one that's like Sasha or something, so... I'm loving them. I there's actually used a lot of products, new products for the first time today. I used the new L'Oreal Lumi Cushion. This is amazing. Um, it's definitely like a medium coverage, but it's buildable. Um, it, I did actually get a shade that's a little too light for my skin right now. I'm trying to get my tan back on. But it's still, I also got the Maybelline Master Fix Setting Powder. It's really similar to the NYX one, but it was my first time using it. I liked it and then I got this um, last sensational it's new the brush is really cool come on so I really love this too I actually have used the Maybelline the new Maybelline one recently and I like it but it gets really clumpy oh my god well I was rudely interrupted by my camera dying thanks to being overheated it happens all the time all the time Oh, well. so anyways, yeah, so this is the look that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you like it. It's probably one of my favorites so far. Definitely springy. I love all the pinks and pops of pinks. So if you want to see this look, please keep watching. So first I'm going to be priming my eyelids with the NYX eyeshadow base and just putting it on with the small foundation brush. And then I'm going to go in and set it with this e.l.f. translucent mattifying powder. I highly recommend setting your eyeshadow primer with the translucent powder just because, especially before you add any colors, just so it goes on a lot more seamlessly and it just helps a lot with blending. Now taking my Belfiore shadows, I'm going to use this color right here. It is the color Toffee and I'm going to be working that into my crease as a transition stage just to kind of set the scene. Back and forth just to really blend that shit out. Now taking the Carly Bible palette, obviously I couldn't freaking open it, um, I'm going to be taking this lighter kind of purpley shade right here and I'm going to be working that just below that transition toffee shade and like always back and forth and back and forth. <laughs> Now taking this single shadow from L'Oreal, it's in the color Amber Rush. I'm going to be working that over that lighter purple color onto my lid, just to add some shine and dimension. Now back to my Belfiore shadows, I'm taking this dark brown right here in the color Spice, and I'm going to be working that into my outer and inner corners, as you can see here. Taking this color right here, it's the color Rust. I'm going to be working that just over the L'Oreal shimmery color and working it into my crease just to create some more dimension and add a little bit more of the pinky color. Now taking this gel liner by L'Oreal in the color Black is Black, as well as this e.l.f. angled liner brush. I haven't used either of these before. Um, I usually don't use a gel liner, so I wanted to try this out, and it went on pretty good. I'm still obsessed with the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I just think it's one of the best, So, but you never know. It's nice to switch things up sometimes. I 
as you can see, I just don't feel like it really went on as smooth as I would have liked. So I'm going to take my NYX liquid liner and just kind of go over it and make the lines a little more clear and more concise. Now going back with the L'Oreal Shadow and Amber Rush, I'm going to be working that into my tear, tear duct and just under my lower lash line. Now taking the Maybelline Mascara Last Sensational, I'm just going to do a quick coat on my top lashes before putting my Huda Beauty Samantha lashes on. I absolutely love these and my first time wearing them and my first time using that mascara and I am really impressed. I'm applying false lashes, I prefer to use a glue that dries black and it means that's my personal preference, you can use whatever you want, but just make sure that's very tacky before putting it on your eyes. We've applied lashes onto my face. I'm going to be putting this orange concealer by LA Girls Cosmetics. If you've seen my videos before, I typically use a red concealer under my eyes to color up dark circles, but I wanted to try orange to see how it is. And then I'm going to be going back in with that same matte um, translucent powder by e.l.f. and setting that so it doesn't bleed into my foundation. Today for my foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion. This is brand new and it is awesome. Um, it was like a more of a medium coverage and it's definitely buildable, but as you can see, I picked a color that's a little too light for my skin at the moment, so that's kind of annoying, but just working it in, it was really soft, really light, and I really enjoyed it since it was my first time using it. And since I did use a color that was a little too light for my skin, I'm going to go back in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and just add it to this Lumi Foundation, also for a more better coverage. And I'm going to be blending that in with my um, Beauty Blender. Now taking the color Light Ivory for concealer, also by LA Girl Cosmetics, I'm going to be putting that under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, in the middle of my forehead, on my chin, above my cupid's bow, and then under where we are, where I would typically contour as well. Now taking the color Chestnut, also by LA Girl Cosmetics, I'm going to be using it for my cream contour. Um, up by my hairline, down the sides of my nose, under my cheekbones, and a little bit under my jawline as well. Now taking my Damp Beauty Blender, also I sprayed it with my Ofra Setting Spray. I'm going to be working out those light colors, and then I'm going to take a flat kabuki brush to blend out the darker colors as well, which I also sprayed with my Ofra Makeup Fixer Setting Spray. It's my absolute favorite. I love that stuff so much. It's really important just to take your time to go back and forth and really blend out those colors. I use a little too much on my forehead, so I went back in with my foundation to cover up some of that darkness. But as you can see, trial and error, you never really know. This is my second time using this concealer for cream contour, but so far I like it. Also, what I did for to blend out my nose, I took an angled eyeshadow brush, off of, also sprayed it with my setting spray, and I helped do. I use that to buff out the contour on my nose, and I felt like it worked really well. In comparison to a beauty blender, I just felt like that size beauty blender is a little too big, so the angled eyeshadow brush actually worked really well in working out those fine lines since it is such a small area. Then my cream contour is all blended. I'm going to be taking this Maybelline Master Fix Translucent Setting Powder as well as with this e.l.f. contouring brush and I'm going to be doing the baking process and doing it under my cheekbones, down the sides of my chin. This is my first time using this um, setting powder and brush and I was really impressed. I got this brush for $3 at CVS so I love it. When I move on to my under eyes, I'm going to be using a different e.l.f. brush. It's more of a um, fluffy, like kind of blush brush looking like. So as you can see here, it is actually e.l.f.'s pointed foundation brush, but I'm just going to be using it to set my setting powder under my eyes, on my forehead, and down my nose. So far, I really like this setting powder. Um, like I said, it's really similar to the NYX one. 
that I have purchased and I usually mix them with my Graftobian banana cream powder but I didn't do it today I just want to try it by itself and then I'm going to be taking the elf bronzer which is one of my favorite bronzers ever it's so affordable uh, but while that bakes I'm going to be working that bronzer onto the same places that I did my cream contour Now taking a fluffy powder brush, I'm going to be dusting off all that translucent powder and just really working it out and blending it with my blush, kind of just mixing it all together, making sure it's set. You can see it's like looks really white on here, at least I feel like. Um, I think after I spray it with my setting powder, it's a lot better, but just dusting off all that excess. Just going back with that same bronzer, I'm just going to sharpen up the lines a little bit here. So as y'all can read, my freaking camera died when I was finishing my eyes, but I'll put the rest in the description box. Now I'm going to set my face with my Ofra setting spray. This is my favorite. I use it all the time. Then I'm going to be taking the Artist Couture um, highlighter and gold digger, which is my favorite. And I'm also going to be putting that over the L'Oreal and all over my face, basically, because I want to be glowing as fuck. I actually took the ColourPop Lunch Money Cheek Super Shock stuff and I just put it as a base before putting on the loose highlighter. Um, I don't really know why. You don't really have to do it. As you can see, it's a light iridescent shimmery color. Um, just decided to do that. I'll leave it in the description box down below with everything else because I, I didn't show it. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Then taking my Gold Digger and putting it everywhere because I love it. You can see this stuff is the bomb. I posted this picture and somebody called me oily because I was so glowing, so I decided to take that as a compliment, but bitch, I'm not oily. It's glowing. Here I just taking a smaller brush and working that gold digger down my nose, under my eyebrow arches, and just in like the smaller places, and above my cupid's bow. Of course, setting my face again, and now I'm wiping all the makeup off my lips. I'm going to be using this full lips lip enhancer thing. I've had this for so long. I don't really think they work that great, but they're just funny. <clears throat> I like my lips to be plumped up a little bit before I put lip liner on. I feel like it makes it easier. So now I'm going to be taking the lip liner um, by Essence. I don't remember the color, but I will leave it down in the description box. And I'm just going to line my lips with that, as you can see. I'm taking this soft matte lip cream by NYX in the color San Paolo. It's so pretty. And I'm going to be putting that over my lips, obviously. Um, makes sense. Kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> but, and then I'm just going to be blending it in with the lip liner. I actually go back with the lip liner and kind of darken it up. And that's that. That's the end of this look. I hope you guys love so it. there you have it, guys. This is my final look. I just really love this. I kind of wanted to go with the theme of my shirt from Fashion Nova, my nail combination. Just like really pretty pinks and um, yeah. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this makeup look. And as always, um, the product details will be down in the description bar. So if you didn't, sometimes I like didn't show them or whatever it may be, or if you don't wanna rewind, they are down below. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel. And I love any even if it's just saying hello. And if you have any other suggestions. So thank you guys so much.